guys and welcome back. Today I'm going to be sharing some of my road trip must-haves. I decided to film this video because I am preparing to drive to Manly Hot Springs with the three kids and our dog Kobuk this Friday. So I thought I would share some of my essentials when it comes to traveling. Now some of this is tuned towards traveling with kids but some of this I just feel has an essence of preparedness or readiness when you're driving a long distance. Our trip this time is about 500 miles one way and we will be doing it in two segments. I'll be driving from Wasilla, Alaska to Fairbanks. We will be tent camping overnight at a campground and then we will be going our remaining distance into Manly Hot Springs and a little further to where Justin is currently located for work. So with that being said, that journey is quite a distance, 500 miles in two days, essentially a day and a half, and then we will turn around and do the reverse leg of it in about a week to come back home. So we've done this trip a few times. We also frequently, living in Alaska, road trips are kind of a way of life. We kind of have to drive distances to get anywhere if you want to see something different within the state, and I've certainly not wanted to be limited when it comes to road tripping with kids. It's fun. The kids enjoy it. We have all sorts of things that we do to prepare, but today I wanted to just share two of those things. And the first one is going to be what I call my front seat bundle. Now this sits up in the front seat on the floor of the passenger seat. Obviously, if you have a different style vehicle, we have a truck, so we have a back seat and a front seat. Um, but if you have a different vehicle, you could store this somewhere else. And then I do also have our first aid kit ready kit that is in this tote now let me just say i am not a medical professional i am not a doctor i'm not anything i just know what i have needed in the past when we have been traveling and what i wished we would have had when we have been road tripping before so that's where uh my ideas and kind of my thoughts on what i've put into each one of these so i'm going to start with my front seat bundle and then we will chat about the first aid kit that i bring with. so let's talk about what my front seat bundle is housed in this is actually just a tote style bag from 31 so if you're interested check out your local 31 consultant i have honestly had this for years and not known what to do with it and recently i just decided hey let's put all of the stuff that we need for our road trip in here so it has the handles which are necessary for transporting it but once it's in the vehicle i don't necessarily need this whole thing handed to me or people in the vehicle don't need this whole thing handed to them it's usually just things that are in here so it has this one big component here it has these two smaller side pockets these are for pens or pencils and then two mesh things on the end the inside of it isn't divided in any way it's just one opening and i just have put in there what i need so we have a roll of paper towels, a roll of toilet paper, and then for us, I really like these Grovia cloth wipes. I've chatted about these before. These are especially handy if the kids' hands get sticky or their faces get dirty or mine because instead of using a wet wipe, I can just put a little bit of water on this and the texture of the cloth, obviously, it's a cloth wipe. You can wipe off a lot more with it, and when we're done, I have a small Planet Wise wet bag. It can go in here, and then when we reach our destination, everything is just ready for the laundry. I do have a few trash bags in here. These are just Fred Meyer plastic grocery sacks. We do recycle and reuse these as much as possible. And the only reason we even end up with these anymore are because the mom brain is real and sometimes I forget my bags in the trunk of my car or at home or I just forget to use them at all. And so we still end up with these every now and again. But I do carry a few of those and they're good for just trash or anything you need to put things in. We've even in a pinch put dirty clothes in here if I can't access one of our wet bags easily. That rarely happens though. I also keep a lint brush in here for myself. And then currently, because it has been so warm and so sunny, I like to have sunblock ready and available. Even when you're in a vehicle, you know those rays coming through the windows, they can kind of cause an issue, especially in Alaska. If I were doing a road trip in June, I definitely want to have this because our sunlight is usually pretty intense and for long hours of the day so i'd like to just have this in here plus if for whatever reason i don't anticipate on this trip we will be but if we stop and decide to hike or swim or something i just prepared and i have it somewhere that's accessible without having to dig through everything and that's the same reason i also carry some bug spray with me this is the cj's bug banisher i do not know if cj's currently still makes this i have honestly had this for a while and it's kind of just floated from bag to bag to bag which is why it's still as full as it is. This one didn't get as frequently used. The one that we do use that is all natural that I'll link below is from Silver Bear Sundries located here in Alaska. I do have that one as well, but it's packed for 
when we reach our destination in another bag, but I just like to have some sort of all natural bug spray with us. I also keep an air freshener, stinky shoes, stinky vehicle. This is just nice to have the spray. This is the Method brand and this is the Wild Poppy fragrance, which is my all time favorite. And then for myself, I do deal with pretty intense headaches sometimes, and so I like to have something prepared, uh, especially in this situation where I'm the only one driving, and so I just have a thing of extra strength Excedrin in there. There's actually only one or two left in here, so I should probably restock if I do use these on this trip. And then the last thing that I keep clipped on here, just because I like to be prepared, is a pocket knife. Okay, let's move to these outer mesh pockets. In this first one, I keep a flashlight just in case I like to have one accessible. And then I also keep some dental flossers. In the event that I get something stuck in my teeth, the kids get something stuck in their teeth, it is a very frustrating feeling. So I just like to have those readily accessible. And then on the other end, I have a thing of simple micellar wipes. Now, I don't particularly care for these. I bought these in a big three pack at Costco and we're just kind of working our way through them. So I decided to use them up. I would just keep them in here. And that's in the event that we're not pulled over where I can get a wet wipe ready using our Girl Via cloth wipes and water for the kids. They can just use one of those if necessary. I also have some hand sanitizer spray. This is great, especially if you're gonna be driving somewhere like we are where you have to pull over and use rest stop bathrooms or uh, pull off bathrooms that are essentially outhouses or porta potties where they don't have running water. So this is good to use as well for that. I do like to keep a lip balm in here as well, and this is the Meadow Creek Boutique Lip Balm in Peach Honeysuckle. And for myself, I have a thing of eye drops. I actually just had an eye appointment this week, and I found out that I'm still dealing with allergies and some pretty intense eye dryness. So these are a must, must have for me as a driver to have to keep my eyes functioning the way they're supposed to be. I actually have a couple different versions that I kind of interchange through here as I need them, but one thing we kind of overlook I think or I've overlooked and why my eyes feel so dry sometimes is you know when you have that heat on in your vehicle or that air conditioning you know that's air that's coming in and for me dealing with allergies it really dries out and affects the sensitivity of my eyes so I just like to be prepared and then in the pencil pocket holder I have a sharpie and a pen just in case I also have pens in other spots in the vehicle but this is just a good location to have them and then I have two lotions. I have the Mitchell and Peach English Growers English Leaf Body Cream that I received in a Nipsey bag. And then I have the Josie Marin Whipped Argan Oil Intense Hand Therapy. I like to have a hand cream and a lotion just in case somebody needs it. Um, myself, I like to put on hand cream sometimes after I use hand sanitizer after a little while because my hands get dried out. So that's everything that's in there. The only thing that I think I will probably add for this trip because we are combating a combination of swimmer's itch and mosquito bites for everybody. And I know everyone is going to feel itchy throughout the drive. You know, when you're in a vehicle, it's kind of those things are like dry eyes and itchiness and dry hands. Everything seems so much more intense when you're contained in a vehicle for whatever reason. So I think I will be adding a thing of like anti-itch relief that's in our first aid kit into this uh, front seat bundle just so it's available so the kids can hand it to each other if they need it. Okay, now I'm going to talk about what's in this first aid kit. This is just a plastic tote and lid from Target. Honestly, this isn't what I would prefer to have this in. I think I actually have another similar 31 uh, divided like tote, like the one that my front seat bundle is in that I might entertain the idea of using. I'm just not sure. I just know that for now this takes up a lot of space, but it does have everything in here. One tip that I would like to add that I haven't done here, but you may want to do if it's your first time packing a first aid kit or if, you know, you just like to be prepared. The tops of lids are a great place to stick a label, either with a Sharpie or a label maker, so that when you look down on this, you can see exactly what it is. Because sometimes in an emergency situation, our thought process flies out the window. And while you may have remembered where you put something, you know, when you packed this kit, if you packed this kit a week, a month, or even a year ago, even a few days before your trip, you might forget what something is just from looking at the surface of it. Because honestly, most of these things are not something that you use on a day-to-day -day basis. So that's just a little tip. I haven't done that with this one because I'm really, really familiar with these products. It's kind of been the same string of products that I've kept with in a first aid kit when I've been traveling with the kids for years. But if I was in a different situation, 
and probably for myself it would probably still be a good idea to label the types of things so you know what they are. The first thing that is in here is from Target and now you can find these little first aid pouches on the end cap by their pharmacy or first aid supply section and they come completely empty and they have a little zipper here and you just unzip them and then it's divided to fill with whatever you need. Now I have used this to keep track of all the things that would otherwise be kind of loose and scattered and things that you don't want just in an open tote like this. The first being this is an old Ipsy pouch and I just have a various uh, collection of different sizes of bandages in here. I have some larger ones, some waterproof ones, and some smaller ones and they're just all in here in the event that we need them. And then I also keep some antiseptic wipes. Oops, dropped one. I also keep some antiseptic wipes in this pouch. Neosporin ointment and a backup thing of artificial tears eye drops for myself and so that's what I keep in the one pouch in here and then on the other side I just have an assortment of medical tapes I have a couple different sizes some scissors packing gauze and rolled gauze and then gauze sheets are in here as well so that's what I like to keep in this thing so all of that is just contained in one little pouch if we should need it. They don't have this exact print and style at Target anymore, but they still make a very similar thing. I purchased this one probably three years ago. Moving into here, now this is a combination of first aid plus kind of just in the event someone gets a cold, somebody gets a runny nose, I'm feeling under the weather. When you're traveling with kids, especially when you're traveling with kids solo the way that I am, I don't really have time to be sick and in the event that I feel something coming on, I want to just be prepared. So let's talk about those items first. Now I have cough drops and vitamin C drops in case of sore throats, itchy throats, dryness, whatever comes up. I also like to travel with this, a chew chest rub. This is a eucalyptus, basically a eucalyptus version of Vicks or mentholatum and this is from Nature's Baby Organics. I also have a Mucinex Sinus Max nasal spray for myself and for the kids I travel with a thing of children's Tylenol just in case there is an event of pain, fever, anything like that it is in here and I do have a Tylenol in here as well and then some doTERRA on guard is what I have in here in terms of kind of like if somebody's feeling under the weather, somebody catches a cold while traveling, I kind of have enough basics and with that as well I do have a thermometer. And then, like I said, kind of dealing with the itchiness of swimmer's itch, mosquito bites, bug bites, I have two different uh, anti-itch things. I have the Benadryl Extra Strength Itch Stopping Gel, and then I have the Aveeno Active Naturals Calamine version. This is the one that I will probably put in my front seat bundle because it is a lotion and it's a little bit thicker, so if the kids have to put it on themselves, they can do that while the vehicle is moving. However, this is like a really loose, almost like water type gel and this could just end up everywhere so I will probably keep that in the medical kit and we can use that if absolutely necessary. I do also keep some q-tips in here this is another ipsy pouch and then for the girls and myself just in the event I mean Nicola could use these two if he needed to in the event that our cloth wipes aren't accessible something has happened I keep a thing of cleansing wipes in here because if anything happens we ended up having to camp for a long period of time without a shower or something or something or something we're just prepared to practice hygiene at a very minimal basic level to hold us over until we can get to a shower but we haven't had to use those yet I just like to keep them in here I do also keep a pocket knife in here so that was everything kind of like in case somebody gets a cold or something and honestly that's the majority of what was in here um but I do keep a couple different sizes of bandage wraps in here and then waterproof butterfly bandages some more rolled gauze foaming neosporin and hydrogen peroxide that I like to travel with. Now with that being said I do have another kit that is in the vehicle with me and it is actually like a triple A first aid emergency roadside assistance preparedness kit. I just purchased it at Fred Meyer and I just like to keep that simply because it kind of has everything like if I've forgotten something in here that has everything and beyond and that also has things like road flares and kind of the triangle caution signs in event of like a flat tire which I dealt with twice last year 
or something else that could happen to your vehicle. So I highly recommend checking out one of those. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you're planning on taking a road trip anytime soon or traveling in general, you know, whether it be in an RV or a motorhome or a camper or just a good old fashioned drive somewhere in a vehicle, I hope these things kind of helped you give an idea of where to start with, with either a front seat bundle or kind of a first aid medical kit. And if you guys have any tips or suggestions, leave them in the comment section below. And if you'd like to see more road trip themed videos from me, like the kids road trip binders or anything else, go ahead and leave a comment and I will be sure to make that happen for you guys. As always, lots of love from Alaska and I will see you guys in the next one.